Starting by grounding both of us. And paying attention to your breath. Welcome to your massage. So today's massage is all about anxiety relief. At first I thought it was just going to be for you, but it turns out it's for me as well. <sighs> These times that we live in, there's so much that's uncertain and all these variables that we can't control makes us feel anxious. So, we're gonna both work on letting that go today, okay? So can you tell me more about how anxiety is showing up for you right now? Um, I just can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like not, not in my stomach, but like in my chest. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me where in your chest? Right here. Like at the sternum area. We're gonna start off with burning some of this. Palo Santo. There's a lot. And it's just gonna purify the energy here take away any negative energy and replace it with positive vibrant energy. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to get anything on you. Make sure that I'm protecting your face. Okay. And you can just breathe that in. We'll breathe it in together. I'm going to put this aside. And what I ask of you is to really home in your senses. So what do you smell? You know, the smoke that you smell. What do you feel? my hands. Yeah. You can close your eyes if you like, so that you take care of that sense. And what do you hear? My voice, the sound of the cars outside. <laughs> and we're actually going to introduce a few more scents, okay? And I'm going to have you smell each of these essential oils and tell me which one you want me to use today. I want you to really trust your nose, because your nose knows best what you need right now. So here's the first one. Do you like that? Yeah, but it kind of smells like So that one's ylang ylang. And all of these oils have been shown to be therapeutic towards anxiety relief and uplifting your mood. This is more of a blend. What do you think? It's like the surprise you have heard. Mm -hmm. This one's called yoga and it has orange peel. Patchouli, Indian neroli, champa, and rosewood. It's a lot of really invigorating scents. 
Next one. This one's geranium, which is very floral and sweet. It's probably my favorite too. Next, it's also a blend. What do you think? It's more like wood. Mm -hmm. Earth. More woodsy. There's cedar wood in here, along with orange, peel, lavender, ylang ylang clove bud. So your favorite right now is still the geranium, or do you like this one better? Okay. Last one. What do you think? It's kind of citrusy. Mm-hmm. This one's more of a top note. It's grapefruit. So of all of these, which one do you prefer? The third one. Okay. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this massage oil. And the geranium. Start gently kneading your traps. Starting very gently. And then working on your rotator cuff. This entire shoulder, deltoid area. And all the way down. And now I'm going to do a bit of thumb kneading. So, just on either side, side of the thoracic vertebrae here. Just kneading up. Let me know if there's too much pressure, if you feel any pain, anything at all, okay? And working all the way up to the base, just like that. Back down. Feel a bit of tension right here. So we'll work on that. And then again, going back to kneading the traps. All the way down to the elbows. Now I'm going to do a neck massage. So I'm actually just going to hold your forehead like this. You can just lean into it. And we're just, just like that. Good. Just 
just using increasing and just using increasing pressure here. my thumb to sort of knead in this area so it is quite tight and that's the thing when we have anxiety, stress, tension we tend to shrug our shoulders and just hold it all in, the, in this area we need to make sure to relax it We're going to do a few stretches, okay? So we're going to start with lateral flexion. Just gently, not doing anything uncomfortable. Very good. And then we're going to do forward flexion. I'm supporting you. And back up. And we'll go straight into backward extension. Not going too far. Yes, very good. And then rotating over here to the left. And to the right. And that's my belly rumbling. adding a little bit more downward pressure here. Good. This way we can actually add a lot more weight. Use gravity to press into the trapezius muscle. And now we're going to do the scalp check and scalp massage, okay? Just releasing the hair, letting it go free, throwing it over there. So we're going to do a bit of a scalp check, but first I want to sort of section your hair, okay? So, I'm gonna divide it into two. And how are you feeling right now? Relaxed. Good. Me too. So much more relaxed. thing about anxiety is that when you really focus on your senses, it tends to melt away, or at least it doesn't seem as mm, difficult as it was earlier. Like it seems more, um, it seems easier to cope. Start just the top, lightly using the needle to, s to separate part the hair. And I'm just checking for any signs 
of redness or irritation. patches of dry skin or red skin and you can just relax and enjoy the sensation are so good. No cuts or abrasions. No signs of dermatitis. Let me just flip your hair this way so that I can check the bottom area. Is your head comfortable like that? Again, I don't see any signs that we should be concerned about any of the skin back here. Okay, good. And then we're just going to check the occipital root area. So, can you just lean your head forward just slightly like that? Perfect. Very good. other side. And clip that, and then clip this side here. Very good. Now I'm going to start with again the top of the scalp. Actually, need to be on my tip. very healthy on this side as well. Okay. No issues. Nothing to be worried about during the scalp massage. No areas that we can't massage. Which is good. And it's really important to check it thoroughly because on the rest of your skin, there's no hair covering it, or at least it's, you know, I can see whether there's any areas I should avoid, but with the scalp, it's really hard to tell unless you're really doing a close inspection. Okay, let me check this area, and just flip your hair over.
just detangling as I go as well. Okay, very healthy. Are there any areas of tenderness as I move my needles across your scalp? Flip your hair back again. I'm gonna check this side near your ear. I'm just come on the side again. Okay, very good. All right. So you can go ahead and start the scalp massage and just using two hands and going up, brushing back. And starting really gentle. A little bit of traction at the top. Very good. And then just using sort of like a shampoo motion, as if I'm shampooing your hair. If you want, you can relax back into the chair if you want to. Okay. You know, anxiety happens for usually the same general reason. There's something in your life that is being put at risk. Something that's important to you. It can, it can just be one thing or it can be a couple of things. body is giving you a message. Through the sensations in your body, whether it's in your chest or belly or anywhere else, your body's trying to tell you, pay attention. But oftentimes, that thing that seems to be very, very valuable or important to you is actually not so important in the long run. For example, just before this massage, I was worried about some background noise 
and I let it get to my head. And I started to feel anxious, like I couldn't breathe. We have to recognize there are variables in our life that we cannot control, and that's okay. Allow yourself to come back to the present moment on sights, smells, sounds, touch, feelings. Let them come and let them go. Don't resist. Don't judge. Just let them come and let them go and let them tell you what they need to tell you. Be curious. There's a story. Perhaps it's trying to tell you not to take life so serious. <laughs> Which we often do. Perhaps it's telling you it's time to take better care. which you're doing right now. You're allowing me to take better care of you. And perhaps that's just what your body needs right now. So listen to the wisdom of your body. I've chosen a couple of really great and effective scalp acupuncture points. Well, the first one's it's on the scalp, but not necessarily on the scalp. It's the yin tang. And it means hall of impression. And it's between your eyebrows. reducing pain, whether it's general pain or pain in the face, in the head, anywhere. You can just press on this point. going in the other direction. And if you find the point, you should feel sort of an, a slightly achy sensation. That's when you know you got it. Okay. We're 
We're going to follow those eyebrows to the side where the eyebrow and the lateral canthus meet. Go back once. size of a finger, well, the width of a finger. But what's most important is finding that depression. So that's where all the acupuncture points lie. In this point, helps to subdue liver young and expel wind. Okay. And next we're going to move on to the actual scalp. So I'm going to just part the hair in the middle to reveal governing vessel, also known as the Tumai in Chinese. Okay, very good. So we have governing vessel 23, which is one sun within the hairline. So it's right over here. Okay. We're just going to press into there. nice depression. This point is known as Shangxing, which stands for Upper Star. It helps to expel wind, clear heat, it also benefits the eyes. And yes, it's also good for calming anxiety. The next one is just 0.5 twin in front of it, 0.5 twin within the hairline, governing vessel 23. So I can feel the depression right here. Depress into it. Use my other hand. Sorry, governing vessel 24. This one's called the Shen Ting. This one calms the liver and extinguishes wind. It quiets the heart. And we know the heart organ in Chinese medicine is intimately involved with the emotion of anxiety as well as insomnia, because in Chinese medicine we believe that the mind, the shun, must go back to rest into the heart in order for you to sleep. Therefore, this point is really good for quieting the heart and therefore helping with insomnia, 
as well as anxiety and palpitations. It also calms the spirit. I'm going to move on to this side here, okay. And this is where we find gallbladder, two gallbladder points. Gallbladder 8 is directly above the apex of the oracle, and you'll find a little depression right there. So I'll start with this side. Just little circles. This one, in addition to calming the mind, subdues liver young, clears heat. Also relieves pain, either in the area or generally in the head. Okay, let's find it on the other side. Again, apex of the oracle moving up, finding that little depression. Next point is gallbladder 9, and this one is just posterior to gallbladder 8. Nice little depression. This one works similarly to gallbladder 8. It calms the spirit. It's a great sedating point. Also great for headaches and dispersing gallbladder heat. And this point is known as the Tian Chong Celestial Hub. End off this massage, stroking from the head all the way down to the offspot, 
and down. Just reflex stroking, stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. And squeezing those straps, you can just relax. I always love giving massages because I feel like I'm receiving the benefits just as much as the receiver. So it's a two-way exchange of positive, relaxing energy. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this massage with you. Thank you. Have a great night.